want to ever do this to someone you love, but it's like she needed to hit rock bottom on it and she needed to say, I, I'm sitting here by myself. I don't have a good family relationship. The only person who was looking after me and did truly care about me has, can't take it anymore. Uh-huh. And, um, um, you know, yada, yada, yada. And uh, I just thought, you know, maybe a week later, two weeks later, the six months later, it would finally register and, you know, maybe she'd be in the situation to, I, I actually always expected a phone call. I always expected like a, hey, I was such a fucking bitch to you. Um, I didn't realize that at the time. It was not me talking. Thank you so much. I could have never done it without you. I know that it's unbearable. I mean, I you, know, you don't have this experience, but like, you never to, got one. to 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 never and to leave someone where you think to yourself, I spent two grueling years with this person, to leave them in a better place, and I'm not going to get anything to show for it. I'm the one who did all the work for them to be in a better place, and this girl was in so much better of a place than when I met her. And I don't want to pat myself on the back, but without a relationship, she, she really would have. I don't get to deal with the happy times. I don't get to deal with the new and improved version of the girl. I don't get any, you know, reap the rewards in any which way. But you know what? Whenever she was ready for it, I don't care if it was six months later. I don't care if she called me today out of the blue. I deserve one thank you and one acknowledgement of you on many levels, both throughout the relationship before that stuff and in the end of this stuff, you virtually saved my life. And, you know, I really owe where I am to you. And I'm sorry that other people get to enjoy me as I am today because you got to enjoy the very incomplete, you know, work in progress me. And I was such a fucking bitch to you every single day. And you sat there and smiled and took it and listened and helped me. And, um, and, you know, one simple five minute conversation to just say, I know what you did for me and I appreciate it would have just meant a lot it never fucking happened I go down in this fucking crazy house I offered to get a stupid fucking girl a protein shake because she's telling me repeatedly that she's withering away and gonna die and in misery and you know she told me she she stood up six times and, and saw like black and stars and purple and this and that scared the fuck out of me I'm thinking to myself she doesn't want anyone to know about this because she doesn't want to be perceived as weak. And I'm sitting there and thinking like, okay, so I'm going to be like out on the hammock talking to, you know, whatever, or playing golf or something like that. And she's going to like get up to go to the bathroom and like collapse or something like that. And no one's going to even know where she is, know what's going on. Or I know it sounds like ridiculous. It sounds like extreme or whatever, but you know, I lived through it and I, I just kept thinking to myself like and she doesn't have this relationship with me and she's never going to do this for me and even my girlfriend didn't do this for me or whatever but you know what even if she didn't want to fucking drink the shake for her father for her for Nick for for me who was on slop and looking out for for, for anyone like she she could have just done it and instead she her attitude is horrible which I've just now come to find is just actually her personality. <laughs> um, and I knew for a fact that I could care less that Danielle was a bitch to me because other people are obnoxious to me in the house all the time. And I knew I had no personal, I, I really could fucking care less um, of anyone who's probably like her little flippant catty remarks like are just to be expected and wouldn't even get on my nerves in any which way. And I was like, just like it can't possibly be that, you know, this is what's getting to me and there's just no fucking way. It was like, you know, clearly like suppressed, like traumatized situation from my past or whatever. And like, um, in my day to day life, it doesn't come out. It's not a big deal. I never think about it. Never. I don't 
know anyone who 